Imagine a five-year-old girl needing a pacemaker because her heart can't beat normally. Tonight, a family is incredibly thankful because a doctor at Akron Children's Hospital is one of a handful in the country who can do a procedure to fix the problem without a pacemaker. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins has that story. Here this month, five-year-old Evelyn Rice passed out in her kindergarten class. Her mom rushed her to Akron Children's Hospital, where she had another episode. She was having um, like pauses in her heartbeat. They determined that that was what caused her to pass out was the pausing in her heartbeat. Pauses up to five seconds at a time. It's a rare congenital issue called atrial ventricular heart block. Evelyn's heart beat more slowly with an abnormal rhythm. The treatment, a pacemaker. It was a little overwhelming at first because I was like, what is this going to like be like for the rest of her life? Evelyn's problem was miscommunication from her brain to her heart. A nerve coming from the brain that tells the heart to slow down. And sometimes that signal is too great or sometimes the heart's response to a normal signal is too aggressive. And, and when that happens, the heart rate slows down too much. Dr. John Clark is one of few pediatric cardiologists in the U.S. skilled at cardioneuroablation. A, a procedure that allows um, rewiring of the heart to let those signals that are telling the heart to beat to communicate down to the lower chambers and create a pulse as it should. It's done in a cath lab using 3D imaging to find the problem. We're looking for those areas of the heart that respond to that nervous impulse from the brain. And that's what we cauterize, which is um, very remote from the heart's normal wire. Once the heartbeat is normal, the procedure is finished and Evelyn can go back to living a five-year-old's life. Also doesn't prevent us from doing it later on. So patients who already have a pacemaker would be a candidate to have this done to be able to get the pacemaker out. How lucky we are that she's, that he was like in our backyard so close. We didn't have to like go to another state or anything for this. This Thanksgiving is something special that um, I'm forever thankful for especially Dr. Clark and his team. Monica Robbins, 3 News.